Yo guys, welcome back to another Cold Wild the Angler video. In today's video, we're going to be getting out onto Golden Ridge Reserve and taking a look at the small mouth bass and trying to show some locations that you might happen to come across a diamond for yourself. In this video, we're going to be covering the location, the hook sizes, the baits, everything you need to know to get out there and have a do with them yourself, guys. So if you do enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing and joining our Discord. The link will be in the description. More importantly, sit back and enjoy the rest of the video and I'll catch you all in stream next time, guys. Peace. Right, so first things first, as always, we'll talk about the setup that I'm going to be using while trying to catch some of these huge diamond smallmouth bass. I still do need one myself, but I thought I'd get this information out prior to me trying to find one. I've been trying to find one for a couple of days now. I've just been very unlucky and we've been very busy with the weekend league this weekend. Um, if you do want to join the weekend league, it's totally free. It's in our Discord. Super, super fun tournament we hold at the weekends. Totally free. Just join our Discord. Link will be in the description. But to start with, the setup we're going to be using to try and catch a diamond smallmouth bass is a Whippet, the Lurch Reel, 22 pound fluorocarbon. The reason I'm using a 22 pound fluorocarbon is because there's muskies in some of these locations. So you don't want to spend too much time trying to drag these silvers or gold muskies in when you're targeting the smallmouth bass. And I'm using a popper as well, guys. And on my float rod, I'm using the matchmaker, the scope, eight pound monofilament, waggler, and eggs. And we'll talk through now the hook sizes that you're going to need to tackle some of these smallmouth bass. Right, while we're at this first location, I'll just talk through the hook size are super, super quick with you. Really, really easy to know for the smallmouth bass. If you wanted to target, I would target your silvers, golds, and diamonds. You want to be using a size six hook like I'm doing now. Um, I've got it on my float rod and on this popper rig as well. So a size six will catch you silvers, golds, and diamonds. Um, a five will catch you golds and diamonds for the smallmouth bass. And the size four will only catch you diamonds, guys. But once again, if it was... Up to me, I'd be using them silvers, golds, and diamonds just so you're having a lot of fish and you're not just sat there waiting for a, a hot minute to catch a gold or diamond. But that's totally up to you. So let's crack on and I'll catch up with you guys when we get stuck into one at this first location. There we go. We're into one now. What's this? This might be a small mouth, this. I think it is a small mouth. The first fish from here, is it a small mouth? Let's have a look. It is, in fact, a small mouth. That's a silver. That's a 1.92. So just take, keep in mind with these fish in this area, you're going to get muskies as well as largemouth bass. And on some occasions, I've caught a couple of gold green sunfish from here on the popper as well. Um, but that's our first small mouth bass at a silver. So I'm going to catch a few fish from each location, show the location, and then move on to a spot. And one, these all these locations come from the official Discord server. So big up to the guys in the official Discord servers that have been working super hard getting this help sheet together it's one of the best places to be there we go well, that could be a nice small mouth it's one of the best places to be for people looking to find the hot spots guys so i'm just referencing stuff from in there so big up to the guys in the official discord servers this is another small mouth what's we got here there we go 2.83 silver as well it's literally littered with me here but i'm going to catch a couple more small mouths from here but do not get anything nice gold or above i'll show the spot and i'll move on so i'll catch up with you guys at that point there we go. Oh, be a small mouth. Be a small mouth. If it's a small mouth, it's a nice one. It is a small mouth. Is this a, is this a diamond small mouth? What's this? Oh, it's a gold. 4.45 from this spot, guys. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to fish one, one or two more casts. If I don't get anything, I'll show the hot spots. But this is probably our fourth fish from this location. Right, guys. So after catching that gold... Um, smallmouth bass from the first location i'll show where it is so reference the starter outpost here just go northwest on the main outpost you can either get onto a boat here or get onto a boat at this outpost and just come to where this island is guys and it's full of lily pads around this area um, and remember it was a size six popper or size six with eggs, with eggs. it's totally too i'm just going to be using the popper on this video but this is a little insider as well i've recently worked out or a few people have i've, I've noticed that a lot at the minute if you're not getting the bites if, say, for instance, you're fishing for, bite, for, for bass and you're not getting the bites on the popper, if you switch to a float rod or switch your bait from a popper to a crankbait, your bites will start happening. And I've, I've tried and tested that out myself. So switch your baits around. If, if it goes quiet, start switching your baits around, guys. Anyway, moving on to location number two. Right, arriving at location number two. A lot of you will know where this is already, just by the colour of that bridge. But for the guys that don't know where it is, this is Blue Bridge on Golden Ridge Reserve. And this is a good hotspot for quite a few different species. But we're just concentrating on a small mouth bass here. So I'm going to catch up with you guys if and when we get stuck into some. But this is where it comes in handy for having the thicker line on. Because you do get muskies and northern pike around here. As you can see, I think I've hooked one now. Or oh, is this a bass? Oh, it's a bass. I thought, I thought I'd hook one. I think it's a largemouth though. Yes, it is. So you get a lot of largemouth bass and a lot of um, northern pike and muskies around here. So we'll see if we can get stuck into a bass. But this is another known diamond location for them, guys. 
There we go. What have we got here? This could be a... Is this, is this a... Is this a very small smallmouth bass or a green sunfish? Oh, it's a smallmouth bass, but it's a very, very small smallmouth bass. I think this is a very small silver. Yeah, 1.35 pounds of silver smallmouth bass here. At uh, this location, if you literally are just targeting the smallmouth bass and you do not want to get pestered with the muskies and the northern pike in this area, I'd recommend using your float with the eggs, if I'm going to be honest with you. But once again, always try changing your baits out. I'm not going to do that for this video, but in streams, I've been changing my baits more often now. Going from using float setup to um, a lure setup, and it's been bringing me a lot more bites. It has. Oh, is that a bass? Is that a smaller? That potential is it? I think that might be a smaller. You know that you can tell with the tension bar. I think it is. I, I, I get like an inkling with the tension bar if it is a smaller. You know, I think it is. Was it a large mouth? It might be a large mouth. That. No, it is a smaller. I can tell the tension bar goes up and doesn't really fluctuate in distance so i can really tell at the minute if it's a small mouth or a large mouth hitting it but we'll catch a few more oh there we go a little level up as well w's guys in the chat let me know what level you are in the comment sections no flexing right the location we just were so reference to start route post once again we was just fishing this area and now we're up here at the blue bridge now you can fast travel here go up to the blue bridge and fish off the land up there it doesn't really matter but i was just on the boat so i've decided to drive up there it's a fantastic location for multiple diamond species including large mouth bass Sturgeon, I had my diamond sturgeon from here a few days ago. But yeah, let's move on to location number three. Right, arriving at location number three. This one's super, super good because it's super close to the start route post as well, which is fantastic for the new the new players on the game. Um, but we're going to get stuck in, hopefully, to a couple of smallmouth bass. Now, I do know there's a lot of largemouth around this area as well. I've had some nice largemouth from here. But we're going to get try and get stuck into a few smallmouth, and i catch up with you guys then. That's a smallmouth bass if I've ever seen one. That's a smallmouth, a very, very small smallmouth. I can tell with the tension bar now. Every time I can tell with the tension bar if it's a small mouth or not. What have we got here? Very, very small silver. 1.37 pound. They're beautiful looking, the small mouth. They're some of my favourite fish to catch on Golden Ridge Reserve. The large and small mouth bass. The location that I've just been fishing there is the start route post is there. And all of this area here is fantastic for the large mouth bass and the small mouth bass. Um, so you definitely want to be checking this area out. And it's super close to the outpost. You can either run down the road or drive down the road and fish off the sides. Or you can jump on a boat here and make your way through this little fantastic maze, guys. And let's move on to the last location I'm going to be showing before um, we end this video, guys. Right, the last location for the video. Um, I'm going to try and catch a couple of smallers here. The, the um, session's getting a little bit late on towards the night time. So I'm going to try and catch a couple more smallers on this spot and then i'm going to go over a couple of spots that i haven't been able to cover i didn't really want to be bouncing too many servers um i've enjoyed fishing during the night time i've had really good luck with the bass early morning and late at night i've got some diamond largemouth bass late at night or uh, late in the afternoon sorry and i've also caught oh, that's a nice larger there there we go and i've also caught some nice gold smallmouth bass late at night as well as well as early morning but we're starting off with 3.88 pound largemouth bass from this spot Hopefully getting stuck into a few small smallies. That's another larger. I've got a weekly challenge to catch 40 fish. So I've got another three to go over, I think. I think I'm on 37 out of 40. Let me have a look there. I'm sure it's 37. Yes, I'm going to catch three more fish. Complete my weekly. Hopefully get a small mouth within that. If not, I'm going to show you the spot, guys. There we go. It's a nice large mouth that, you know. That's a very good large mouth, is it not? That's a gold largemouth, I think, to end the video, I'm sure. Be fantastic. Silver! Silver! Anyway, let's show the spot where I've just been fishing there and cover a couple more spots. Well, I'll show this spot. So, we have been referencing where we've been today. Starter Outpost. First location we're at was here. Second location, Blue Bridge. Starter Outpost, once again, all this area here is fantastic spot for the um, smallmouth bass. You do get them across here at Nate's location at the minute. We are south of the starter outpost up against this island. That itself is a smallmouth bass diamond location directly west from the starter outpost. And then there's a spot down here at the main lake as well, guys. Listen, if you did enjoy that kind of content, consider subscribing. Join our Discord. Get involved in the weekend league, guys. More importantly, tight lines over this next week. Best luck out there fishing, guys. And I'll catch you all in stream next time. Peace.